Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVBnet's video series on C++ and this video is about assert and this is so overlooked topic and if I ask this question in an interview then I get to know that okay somebody have really done project level stuff or not in their companies because lots of people come and just they say that okay they have done this project that project but if they have done really any project in C and C++ then they must have encountered this assert what I am going to teach now. And it is really very important. So this assert is used to actually break your program from execution if something goes unexpected. And the biggest benefit is you can turn on and off in production and release builds. So this is the best feature you get from assert. So let me just explain you that. So maybe uh, if you're supposed to print some function like maybe uh, display number and you'll get some maybe integer pointer p and I'll write assert p is not equal to null. This is what I will check. If this is true, then I would like to print p. Okay, I'll just come to the actual stuff. Just be with me. We have this integer a is equal to 10. And then I will try to print it, right? We have this display number. Okay, this is number. And if I pass address of a, then it should print. And if I have something like integer pointer k is equal to null it is not initialized with anyone and then we say display number and we pass k here then let's see what is the behavior i'll compile this and execute it and see this is the benefit you get so see first time you called with a so you got that printed but the second time is called with null and i asked it should not be null. If it is null, then this will abort the execution. It will terminate the execution. It will not allow you to go further because something unexpected have happened and it should not happen. Or um, let's put it another way. Like whatever the next statements are in this function, they should get executed only when some condition is true. Otherwise, they should not get executed because maybe they will have some ill form result if this condition is not true. Then if this assert is not there, how would you achieve that? You'll just do like if, if P is not equal to null, then exit or abort or something like that, right? But then the biggest problem there comes is you cannot remove that if condition from the release build because see, this should get executed in the production. This should run and do all the checking in the production side when you're writing all the test cases and everything this should get executed but in the release build this should not get executed so there should be a very easy way and why this should not get executed just because this will take some time and in release build this doesn't make sense this is just for testing that we are not ending up receiving some value by mistake or by some logical error which we should not receive. So see, this is the beauty. You directly get assert field message. Then you know that, okay, some assertion have failed, meaning that place should not get hit. And this is the function. This is the file name and this is the line. So you go get a very proper good message. And I told you, right, you can disable this. So to disable that, you have to define this ndef debug before this assert. Let's compile this. And now if I will execute, see it printed 10. Okay, let me just little bit expand here. Yeah, it printed 10. But see, before we had seen this beautiful message that okay, something wrong have happened. But now here it just says segmentation fault. You cannot make out like what happened. So if you enable this, you will have a proper message in the production and you can fix your logic. So this is really heavily used and yeah this whatever this this is is actually done at runtime so this comparison happens at runtime not at compile time so if you didn't know this then this video deserves a like and if you want to see more videos like this do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching i'll see you in the next videos